My name is Julie Mudd. I'm a public health physician at the Townsville Public Health Unit. So Townsville and Ingham are currently experiencing a surge in Q fever cases. So Q fever is a bacterial disease. We see it from cattle and kangaroos as our two main sources. And it is most often picked up um, when people are mowing uh, lawn areas or grass areas that have had uh, cattle grazing on those areas or have had kangaroos grazing on those areas. Normally we see a few cases, um, approximately one a week around the time of the wet season and just after. But currently we've had a number of cases increasing, partly due to the increase in kangaroo numbers in the area and partly we believe in terms of last year's flood moving soil around and uh, the prolonged stop-start wet season that we've had this year. We have a concern that there may be some undiagnosed cases in town that are unwell and have been reluctant to go to healthcare out of fears of COVID. So Q fever starts with severe high fevers, headaches, night sweats, um, and a, a very serious fatigue. Um, and obviously with that symptom set, we're having a lot of difficulty with the overlap between those symptoms and the symptoms of COVID which means that some people, of course, are going to get their test done at, at the COVID clinic. When that comes back negative, they decide they're okay and aren't necessarily seeking ongoing medical attention, even though their symptoms have continued. The people who are most at risk are pregnant women, people with existing heart conditions, or people with weakened immune systems. It's usually seen in adults rather than children and it's predominantly in people in the, on the outskirts of town, but we have been seeing some cases um, in more in town itself, both in Townsville and in Ingham. If you're sick, please do speak to your GP and arrange to get reviewed because um, this is a potentially serious disease. It's quite treatable. Um, it's two weeks of antibiotics. We can normally treat it in the community. It doesn't re normally require a stay in hospital. But if we miss that window of opportunity, it can become a chronic infection and can damage the heart.